Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 30 of Dark Souls 3. I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, this freaking gorgeous piece of steel, probably iron, uh, is the Cathedral Knight Greatsword. Now... Oh, it took the knight out of the name. Interesting. So I did already can uh, infuse. I almost said confuse. Uh, I did already infuse it with dark. Um, so it is scaling on B with both intelligence and faith. And I got it to a plus six, which honestly was kind of expensive. Um, but totally worth it considering it does 465 AR with my current setup. And that is obviously more powerful than the Chaos Broadsword, plus six, and the Crystal Spike Mace, plus six, and even the Wolf Knight Greatsword and the Chaos Greatsword of Judgment. So it is currently my most powerful weapon, which is pretty great. And in case you guys are unfamiliar, it has a fairly unassuming uh, weapon skill on it. It's just called Stomp, but this is a different variation of Stomp, where the strong attack is a spinning slash. So that's how it do. And uh, yeah, it pretty much uses all my stamina, but totally worth it. Like how freaking sick is that? <laughs> Um, also, as it turns out, I apparently had an Estus Shard that I forgot about. So currently at 8 and 5, so not too shabby. And it is time to go to... Actually, you know, I'm just going to buy an Ember real quick. Ah. Ashen 1. Mm-hmm. Yep. Later, baby. Alright. So, I'm um, gonna travel back to, and in case you guys are wondering, uh, Cathedral of the Deep Bonfire. Just go outside and uh, keep attacking the same Cathedral Knight that has a greatsword, and then, you know, go back to the bonfire to rest. That's the TLDR there, for if you want to farm this bad boy. Um... I believe it is time to go to the profane capital proper. I think so. Which personally I don't have Let's see 26 intelligence, how much do I need for 32 so I need six more levels in intelligence to use it. Okay. Because um, for this next part, fire damage is not going to be the way to go. And there's a couple different ways to deal with that. So I also need to get... Um, a staff up to a certain point. I mean, I don't need to, it's just the way I prefer to do things. Um, ugh. I guess I could go with Great Heavy Soul Arrow. It's a possibility. Um, And I could just stick with the... Uh... Damn it. I mean, we're not going straight to the boss fight. I just... Uh... Alright. I do have the Islet staff. The Court Sorcerer staff is really good. It's already at a plus three, though. Which means the Heretic Staff actually has better spell buff. 
at least for now. Which I guess that's fine. No, 123 is... No, 129. Right. Hmm. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Uh, take off the torch. And I still am not light enough. Okay. Um... I guess I'll wear the crown of dusk for now. After all, it does help with, uh... Uh, sorceries? Oh yeah, I forgot that takes two. Um... Hmm. I'm just gonna check, see if I can actually improve any of these staves. Um... I might be able to. Hmm. Nope. All right. Pretty be careful. I go. I do need to make sure I have a couple, I think I do have a couple, uh, mimic things? I have a literal two. Okay, that's fine, I think that's enough. Um, alright, so let's head down here. I'm gonna need a ranged attack, but I think for the time being, I'll just stick with the sword. I saw an item. How? Alright. Rude, but fine. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing first. It's actually really sick. This is the quote-unquote safe way to do this. I love being able to knock enemies over. handed thing is there's no two-handed that's horizontal yep roll attack gotcha running attack is just faster vertical and then the heavy is just the poke yeah okay so the roll attack does the uh, horizontal all right no for a freaking fact there are more Items around here. The Oni Slayer Great Bow is like a really good Great Bow, though. Not sure if I'm gonna use it because I'm not really doing a Dex build, but I'm 
There's just a hole in the floor, huh? Oh, I don't think you can fall down there, but maybe. I'm not gonna test it. I'm just gonna avoid that. Speaking of which, <laughs> uh, almost tested it. All right. There's anything else over here, right? Some more rusty coins. I mean. You never really have too many rusty coins, right? I mean, I guess if you get tetanus, right? So... <laughs> you know, from all the rust. Alright, so... There's a gargoyle... Here... There he is. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's really not bad. Um, Alright, they are guarding something, I think. Oh, really? gonna take me a little bit to get used to this weapon. Are they really not protecting anything? Huh. I don't remember if there's anything up here, but I already took out the gargoyle, so... May as well check. Yep. I mean, I didn't take out that one, but, you know... Alright, there's one more of those living gargoyles around here somewhere, so... He's up here to the right somewhere. I think that's him. Mm-hmm. wonder if I can surprise him. Yep. <laughs> gotcha.
Uh, I'm just gonna do this the faster way this time, now that I have all the items. to the ship. the same thing as last time. It's kind of surprised that gargoyle first. Totally fine. Doesn't even matter. I forgot to check if they actually like dropped anything previous time. All right, it's fine. We're good. Okay. Start off with a steady chant. Time to drop. There we go. Oh my goodness, dude. Damn it. Oh shit, not both of them. Way. You don't want to backtrack too much or back up, whatever. Spacing. Just 
gonna guard on the way down just in case. Oops. I think they can drop uh, rusted gold coins if I'm not mistaken. Kind of really screwed up with that one. I think just taking out the first one actually, like. Oh no, they all turn around. Fuck. Okay. Um. Side, it's not worth it. Cool. Back up a bit more. There we go. Get the full damage on that one. Gargoyle is not aggroed. Good. Most of the time they just drop daggers. Anyway, I think both of these are mimics if I remember correctly. And that one definitely is. If I just throw one in between them. Yep. Didn't know if that would work. Glad it did. All right, later. Okay, I don't think this is gonna go well, but we'll see.
It seems I am in your debt once again. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. To your valor, and my old friend Yorm. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a law. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do this right now. Because um First of all, kinda of rude. I was talking to Sigbird. It's talking about bud and uh yeah place a base on the statue of the wedding so that is here um that's a message from like the developers that's like in the game even if you're playing in offline mode which i am and um i have a lot of souls right now so i'm not gonna risk doing this boss fight right now because this is as soon as I put it down triggers a quite difficult boss fight so um gonna go the shrine bonfire first because they kind of screwed me out of a bonfire because there is one in the Yorm area after uh you uh, do that so i'm gonna talk to her first no 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 i'm gonna talk to the trans transposing guy trans yeah yeah at the uh Ludolith. right Alright, yeah. Which is funny, they call it Yorm's Great Shield, even though he doesn't use a shield. In the, uh, in the actual boss fight, um, I didn't notice one anyway. Uh, Yorm's Great Machete is a fantastic weapon. And of course the Great Shield is a really good shield, but... Honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to use this. There's a great shield, but one day in peace, in place of his shield, the left hand notch was added to his machete, enabling the smashing technique that would become the legacy is your later years. Okay, so we didn't. Okay, they do call attention to that. Uh, increases the user's poise as a lord, Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one man vanguard. Following the loss of the one he wished to protect, he forsook his shield. Mm. 
Okay. So that's a interesting little note. So I don't think I'm going to use this fossil for any, uh, yeah, be nice to the firekeeper, I know. Um, I think I'm just going to sell it. Which, actually, before I level up, I'm going to talk to Carla. I do want Dark Edge. It's a really good spell. Um, and probably Deep Protection as well. Probably Affinity as well. But I can't use... And Black Flame is not very good. Um, it's mostly these two. I just can't use them yet because I don't have high enough intelligence. Do stay kind of same situation. Um... I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to level up. Ah. And the soul of Yorm is 20,000, so... Ashen one. Welcome, I speak. Very well, then take... Ooh, three levels, wow. Alright. So, I mean, that gets intelligence to 29. It's not bad. Um, and then for the final 10,000, I'll probably just buy some large Titanite shards. Um, mm-hmm. going to put Yorm's thing at his chair because I can. There we go. So now we got the Abyss Watchers. Ludlith's already there. Uh, Aldrich? Did I put Aldrich's on his chair? Anyway. The only one left. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, is the main chair in the middle. So... It's like, a. Uh, it's like the game just told us. Um, Holy King Lothric. Last hope of Isaline. So it's not actually King Lothric per se, it's actually Prince Lothric. So that's what she was talking about, is like Yeah, he's a, he's a prince. And I guess the only reason he's not considered a king is because he doesn't want the responsibility. Oh, it gave us the bonfire. Interesting. Because I definitely did not activate it. But yeah, you want to reload the area and then um, find an item right here on. It's the Storm Ruler. Um, which this is, I believe, implied to be the body of Sigvard. Only a storm can fell a great wood, right? Um, not true, but it's kind of funny how the throne, like, it's designed to look like legs. Can you sign? Kind of weird. Um, I think you can get behind it. I'm trying to remember. It's like something back there, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, um... Yeah. 
so. I don't know why they just put it in the water, but. Yeah, so if you want to, you can, you know, wear the Katarina set. And look like a Sigvert if you want to, but he's, um. That's the implication is that he's dead now, so. Um, yeah. So that is completing his quest line, and of course, if you're doing New Game Plus cycles, uh, when his armor gets stolen, you can just drop it for him when he gets stuck in the well because you already have his armor. Um, and we have two Storm Rulers now, which is totally not necessary, but um, yeah, now have one for the fight, which on New Game Plus makes the Yorn the Giant fight way easier. Um, I went with the great heavy soul arrow specifically for the extra staggering power. Um, and yeah, if you look onto the head, it's way more effective. Um, however, I think still the best sorcery for that fight with Yorm is um, Crystal Soul Spear, which we don't have yet. But, um,. Yeah, it is time for the Twin Princes boss fight. Or no, 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 the... Uh, fucking damn it. Uh, the Dancer... The Dancer of the Boreal Valley boss fight. Um, so... Trying to remember if there's anything else that I forgot about. The... I think we're good, actually. I don't think there is anything else right now. Yeah, I mean, I've been pretty thorough. Okay, so to get back there, um, basically want to go to Vort of the Boreal Valley and walk up the stairs, pretty much. There's no other... Um, method to get there more quickly right now. So what I'm going to do is not where the crown of dusk because this next boss fight does deal magic damage um and i'm not gonna be using the cathedral greatsword because it's a little bit too slow and this is a faster boss so i'm gonna wear probably some of the cathedral night stuff i forgot to sell some of the extras and um Probably just going to use something simple and fast, like the Chaos Broadsword. And still at 75%. Um, going to switch back to Pyromancy. So I'm going to go with Great Swamp Ring and Witch's Ring. Keep on Havel's Ring. Still at 70%. Probably just gonna switch to different gauntlets, like Nameless Knight. Or. Yeah. Nameless Knight are going to be the best. Um, bang for the buck here. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go into a tune spell and re equip Chaos Bad Vestiges as well as probably Black Fire Orb, I would say. And then try. Travel to the oh, it's actually time. Okay. Um. All right, that's fine. I gotta pee anyway. Okay. So on the next episode, guys. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, on the next episode, we're gonna head over 
to the Dancer of the Boreal Valley, do that boss fight, and head into Lothric Castle. <laughs> Proper. Um, because we only need one more lord to basically get access the end game area and fight the final boss. Which, like I said before, I am going to show how to do all the endings. The This first one, I just wanted to get the Usurpation of Fire one out of the way so I can heal the Dark Sigil and then, you know, do the other ones and not have to worry about the New Game Plus cost of healing the Dark Sigil. Um, and then, you know, after the final boss, I'm going to go back to some of the optional areas and then do some of that. Um, the... But yeah, so far we haven't had too many optional areas. By optional areas, I mean like the Dragon Place, the, um, the other, the Untended Graves, the, um, the DLC, stuff like that. So, focused on getting to the ending for now. And probably not going to level up too many more times before getting to the final boss. However, I do want to get intelligence up to probably like 32-ish, something like that. Um, just kind of so I can use the um, some of the better spells I want to be able to use. But um, yeah, that's going to do it for now. So thank you all for being here. Greatly appreciate it. And of course, before we get going... Very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novalis Draconis. But if you want to be incredibly awesome and support the show a bit more directly, like Novalis Draconis, check out the join button down below. Tier start at three bucks a month, it's only ten cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on this channel. So if you guys are a channel member or do want to sign up, uh, again, it's the join button right next to the subscribe, and uh, keep an eye on. The community tab here on the channel where I post those uh, members choice polls where uh, there will be a couple different options and um, I don't know if we have one active right now because I am recording this ahead of time but once Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke is done we will have one to determine the series that will replace that one um, after we do some random videos, because I always do like the back burner stuff in between series. So, um, yeah, and I think the other one just closed recently. But if you guys still want to vote on that one, I will leave it up. Because um, instead of deleting the post, the poll, after it's closed, um, I decided to leave them up from now on so people can vote on the older ones and I will still take that input into consideration for future polls. So if something got a lot of votes after the fact, I will probably put that one back into the pool of potential series to get made. So um, yeah. That's going to do it for now, guys. So till the next one, take care, have a beautiful day, and uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, cool. All right, catch you on the next one. <laughs>